Hello, it's the coach here, and I'm back, and I have top five Heisman candidates going into 2023. I know it's early. I know this list will probably be wrong. It'll probably be somewhere on my top five list. But these are my top five candidates who I think will win the Heisman, and I'm going to hit them with you. Starting with number one, I got Caleb Williams. It's only a matter of time before he's a future first pick for all the NFL draft. Like this guy is going to go number one. Teams are going to trade up for it. People are going to tank for him. That's how good Caleb Williams is. When you add him with a coach like Lincoln Riley as his head coach, you know he's going to have that production. You know he's going to put up the numbers. He's going to add to his 42 touchdowns and only five interceptions as a sophomore. He's easily one of the 2023 Heisman favorites. The only downside is, is it always seems that the favorite in the Heisman kind of has bad luck and ends up coming up short. But Caleb Williams comes in at number one. Number two, I have Marvin Harrison Jr. This guy is an absolute monster. Best wide receiver in the country. Easily um, was on a really good Ohio State team. Had a lot of good wide receivers. And I think he's going to be the dude this year. You're probably saying, Coach, wide receivers like never win it. There's like no chance. But the whole country said the same thing about Devontae Smith. And he ended up having monster numbers. When you compare Devontae Smith and Harrison, last uh, the numbers before Devontae Smith won the Heisman, and Harris last year numbers, they're very similar. I could see Marvin Harrison having a breakout junior year. He has the talent. He has the team. And if he helps us to get back to the playoffs, he has a chance to win the Heisman. Coming in at number three on my Heisman list candidates of 2023, I got Jaden Daniels. Now, Jaden Daniels... Um, had a pretty good season with LSU last year. He's a dual threat QB, so you're going to get the passing numbers, you're going to get the rushing numbers, and that always gives you a chance. And then you throw in the fact that he's going to LSU. LSU had a monster second part of the season. He had a monster second part of the season. He kept LSU relevant, got him to the SEC title game, did end up well against Georgia with him, but I think LSU's improving. And if LSU keeps improving and LSU's in the mixture, you got to give Jaden Daniels a chance. So he's going to keep the momentum going. I see Daniels being kind of like a Hendon Hooker type, possibly. Maybe he's the Hendon Hooker of 2023. I see him having that kind of type of season, helping LSU be great, and having a chance to be in New York City and maybe win the Heisman. All right, and coming back with you, we're hitting you with number four. This candidate is interesting because I don't know if he's actually a top contender for the Heisman or it's me being a homer for an FSU player. You probably know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Jordan Travis. But FSU had a good season last year. They kind of rebounded after having about four or five mediocrity defilled seasons and just being terrible. Jordan Travis brought us back on the map. I think he's a great college QB. And with the ACC being kind of weak in my opinion, and Florida State on the rise, I could see Jordan being a dark horse for the Heisman. I'm calling it now. He's going to have a 4,000-yard passing season and 500 rushing yards. He's that kind of guy. He has that kind of ability. It's going to come down to how many wins can Florida State get and for him to be in the mixture and kind of how the season plays out. But I think Jordan Travis is going to be in the mix for the Heisman. We shall see. The dude's going to put up monster numbers and watch out because he could be there in New York. Last on the list, we have my fifth and final Heisman candidate of 2023. I know it's early, but here he is. I got Nick Singleton. This guy is one of the best running backs in the country. I know a lot of people are going with other running backs. It's kind of their running back choice on the Heisman candidate list. But I had to throw in him as a running back. I had to throw him in the mix because I think he has the potential to be in the Heisman. He had a thousand yards rushing as a freshman, and I think Penn State is going to need him to step up. They lost some production offensively, and I think he's going to be the type of guy who's going to take that production, take those chances, and he's going to carry the offense next year. I could see him being an 1,800-yard um, season kind of guy, and if Penn State, you know, put up 10, 11 wins, he could easily be in New York for a shot from the high. So, Nick Singleton, kind of my little shot in the dark running back, but I like him. I think he can do it. I think he gives Penn State the best opportunity to be successful. So those are my five. If you, you know, had one guy that I missed, a guy that you think is better, let me know in the comments. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.